This is Christy from Digital Scrapbooking Classes, here to teach you a little bit about changing a template to meet the needs that you have. This is a layout I have been working on. It is created using um, Scotty Girls As You Wish kit and a template from um, Jimbo Jambo Designs from her piece of cake set. And the template has one single picture in the middle. But for my layout, I would like to have two identical sized pictures uh, in the middle of this layout. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to alter the template first, and then I am going to insert my pictures. So I'm going to start by taking this um, photo placeholder and clicking on it uh, with my Move tool selected. The blue lines will come around it, and if I click and hold and drag one of the sides, I can resize this and I am going to just make a guess as to what would be about half of that. Then I am going to go up to Layer and I'm going to Duplicate. And while you don't notice it here right away, you will notice in the Layers palette, instead of one photo, I now have two. So when I click and drag the one on the top, I am moving it out of the way of where I had the first one. And I will place it where I want, and I actually did a very good job of guessing um, I wanted a little bit more of a space in between, and you'll notice that it goes a little bit too far to the right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of those layers. I can do that in two ways. I can click on them on the actual layout, or I can select both of them in the Layers palette. To select them on the layout, I click on the first one, get the blue lines around it, hold the Shift key down on my keyboard, and click on the second, and you'll notice that the blue lines now go around both. I could also do the same thing in the Layers palette. I would come over to the Layers palette, click on one of the layers, hold the Shift key down and click on the other one, and I now have my blue lines around both of those um, photo placeholders. And now when I move them or resize them, they stick together. So I'm going to go ahead and put them like that. Now I have two photos on my layout that are exactly the same size and I can go ahead and add my pictures. These are photographs of my kiddos at camp last summer. Oops. Resize them the way I want. And there you have it, my finished layout, splitting one picture into two. Thanks for watching. You can head over to Digital Scrapbooking Classes on Facebook or YouTube for more tutorials.